Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do kind of a review of this tutorial on NPC Dialogue. It's called the easiest NPC Dialogue tutorial ever and it's by Beard Games and I think it's pretty cool. I don't think it's that easy. <laughs> if you come to the, not the first one, but the second one, you'll notice like the first video has like 48,000 views and then the second one has 17,000. It looks like quite a drop off there and it, I think the reason why is that it is a little more complicated than it seems you'd think it would. But let me uh, show you if you come in here and you go, see I'm already confused. It's actually this second one is the one that, this one right here, the second download will actually take you to downloading the game fully functioning. So I scan it and you can download it and then this will take you to this part here. If you come in here, you'll end up with this once you've downloaded it. So let's go ahead and start it up and we'll, you can do it in 5.1. And I just wanna show you, I was really struggling myself with getting my mind around how this whole thing worked. <laughs> and that's why I decided to do this tutorial. So it seems simple enough. We'll hit play and there's our NPC character. And we come in here and we hit E and then we have a message it says, and we click here and then it says, go to message three, go to message one, go to message three, goodbye. And goodbye pulls you out of the scene. But I found this kind of confusing and so I was gonna show you, hopefully explain to you how it, how it works. And it is, I think it is a little confusing. So basically if we, let me escape out of this. Okay, so once you get your mind around this part, let's go on to the NPC. He's not, don't, there he is right here. And if you come over here under the details panel, you'll find this thing here that says conversation info. And this is basically the part that can be very kind of confusing. So let's look at this and break this down. Okay, number one is basically there's three messages that the NPC character can give to you. So there's message one, there's message two, and then there's message three. So you can think of it this way. The NPC can say just three things to you. So it's like, how are you doing? That's great to hear. Now go away. So that would be the three messages. So, and then what's interesting is that these are the three messages that the NPC can say to you. In response, you can say up to three things back, and I'll show you why it's only three. It looks like you could say four, but I'm only saying that you can say three things because you always want to have an option to get out of the conversation. If this were going to be a game, I think you'd always want to leave that option to say goodbye. If you always leave that option to say goodbye, you only have three possible responses that you could say. What's confusing is, there's an array, so if we click here on the array, we can open it up. There's some wording in here, but it's confusing to have that in there because these are the responses that your player is going to say to the NPC. Let me just walk you through an example here. So let's say the message is, let's say he says, how are you? So you walk up to him, how are you, he says. And you say, your reply to him would be, I'm fine that could be one response and then another response might be not so good okay so then let's say that's all you have to say we're not going to add any more dialogue so one good thing about the system is if these are blank then the, it just like the, the responses don't even exist so as long as these are blank then you don't get any response at all. You don't see the buttons, you don't see anything, it hides everything. Now when you have a response here, a text reply, you also are then have the option to go somewhere, a destination. So basically you can go to, it's kind of weird in a way, but you can go back to message one, but I don't know why you'd really want to go back to message one because we just saw message one. So you basically have option to go to message two or to message three, or to quit the game altogether. Quest at this time is blank, so it's really, quest is not an option. So really you only have three 
of five options here. So you can go to message, have the NPC say something else or another message and then or quit the game. So those are the three basic options you have. So since you said you're fine, then let's have, we'll say he'll, we'll go to message two then. So this would be message two. And then we scroll down here. Now this is confusing too, is that there's a question it's asking, the, is this a question that he's asking you? But basically if you don't, this should always be checked pretty much, the question, because if you don't check this, then it skips all of these replies altogether and skips you down to the next section of potential replies. So that just doesn't even make very much sense to me why you'd want to necessarily do that. It's almost could say you want to skip this whole section because if you leave that off, it's going to take you down to these replies. So we'll just leave those questions, always leave that checked pretty much. So now, so he says, how are you? You're going to say, I'm fine. And now you have the option. It's tied to a destination. The destination is going to be message two. So we come down here to message two and the NPC is going to say, that's great. It's great. That's great to hear you're doing great, right? You're doing fine. Okay. So then the second reply is not so good. Well, then your option there is to go to message three. So we don't have to worry about these because these are blank. So these won't, these will be hidden. So message three is going to be here and you'll say, sorry to hear that. And that would be the, the response. Now, there's really nothing more to say at this point, right? So it'd be time just to end the conversation. So your response really to him, we're going to open up here. And this is where it is. this kind of gets busy in here. So we don't really have any more responses to, to say to him. I have to say that's good. So we're just going to say, see you later later. That would be the response. And then we're going to just clear these out because we don't really have anything else to say. So we're going to clear this one out. We're going to clear this one out. And then we're going to clear this uh, one out too. But this will take us to a destination and the destination for that is going to be goodbye, which is the same as quitting the game. So then we come down here, the same situation all over again. We don't really have any more to say to him. So we're just going to say, thanks. Bye. And we'll just clear these out because once, if there's no text in here, then there's everything's hidden. There's no button. There's no response. There's nothing. So for here, message one, reply one, it's going to be goodbye too. So let's walk through this because it is confusing. <laughs> There's three possible responses that the NPC player can say to you, okay? And then each message gives you up to four replies, and each reply has a destination associated with it, which could be one of the three messages that the NPC player made, or you can quit the game or quit the conversation, goodbye, or go to a quest, but there's no quest functionality. So there's basically those are your destinations to go to. And if you don't mark question, then it skips the all the replies all together and goes down to the next set. So let's look at this in action, walk through this slowly. So as soon as we come up on the NPC, he's going to say, how are you? And our reply, if you say, I'm fine, it's going to take you to message two, which is, that's great. NPC is going to say, that's great. And then if you say, I'm not so good, then that's going to take you to message three, which is going to be, sorry to hear that. And now each time that there's going to be a reply after he says, that's great. And your response is going to be, see you later. And then it'll take you to goodbye. And it'll, as soon as you click it, it'll end the conversation. And here, after he says, I'm sorry to hear that, you'll say, uh, thanks, bye. And the destination is going to be quit the conversation. So what, let's watch this in action. So we'll hit play.
and we'll come up on the guy and we'll put, press E and say, how are you? And here's our two choices. I'm fine, not so good. So I hit, I'm fine. That's great, he says. And then I say, see you later. And the conversation's over, just like that. And then you're off to some other, con so you're off about, and then you see him again or whatever, you come up, E, how are you? Not so good. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. Bye. And so it's a little tricky, but once you understand the workflow of it, that this workflow of it, how he has it set up, then everything else starts making sense. Because if you go into the the code, let's see under NPC dialog, this this will blow your mind. I mean, this is incredible. This part. Of it starts making a little bit more sense what's going on when you understand that you know you've got all this you know it looked like a lot of copying and pasting going on here but there was a lot of brain work went into figuring this out but once you understand the user side of it like if you look down here on the code I'll show you where it says text is empty right there so what that's telling you if you come over here when you leave this blank it basically hides out the button and anything else. So, so anyway, let's do another one. Now, what I've learned in doing this is once you've done one NPC, so we got, let's say, this guy is our NPC. The easiest thing to do is come and hit Control D and make another one. And so I got him over here, and so we'll just drag him over here. And so now we have two, and then it will come with all this work already kind of done for you. So it makes making the dialogues a lot easier because you've trimmed it down. You could work on the dialogue. So this one could be something like, um, you know, where are you going? So you say, where you going? And then he could say, I don't know. And so that's going to take us to message two, which is this. And he could say something smart like, good luck with that. And then the other option could be, you say, looking for Tom. And then it's going to take us to message three, which is his third response here, NPC three. And you could say, head due north. <laughs> And then that would be our second conversation. You know, not the greatest dialogue in the world, but then let's hit play. So, so now we come over. There's this guy who wants to know how I'm doing. Enter. How are you? Not so good. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. Bye. And then I'm done with that guy. And then I come over to this one. Chat. Where are you going? I don't know. Good luck with that. <laughs> And then it starts over. And then if I want to hit E again, where are you going? Looking for Tom. Head due north. Thanks. Bye. And then on and on and on from there. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I hope I saved you some time. I really do think Beard Games did a great job putting this together. There's a lot to it. So anyway, take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.